Good morning, dear friends. It's uh, it's not that early this morning. It's October 13th, 2021, but it feels very early to me. Uh, and uh, there's a story there. I'm actually in the car, uh, not so much because I'm going anywhere right now, but because, well, there's a story about that as well. So I'll try to tell. But first of all, I want to thank you for uh, uh, being on this video post and I trust you and your family and your church family have been blessed in the Thanksgiving weekend. And now we're into the next phase of our autumn or fall term. Uh, and uh, one of the things that's uh, for candidates who are involved in our Dawson Synod, um, starting this evening, there is a, a special meeting just for candidates where they have an opportunity to meet in a special way. The first candidate uh, who is standing uh, to be uh, in discernment with regards to the Episcopal election, Archdeacon Dan Gifford. So that's happening this evening. And then next Wednesday evening, uh, the other candidate who is standing for election is Ken and Mike Stewart. So those uh, pray for our, can our candidates for uh, Doss and Synod who uh, need to discern. And uh, um, so that's, that's going on uh, this evening. Another thing that, to know about is that in fact, uh, <clears throat> next, uh, uh, this coming weekend, or actually tomorrow I fly to Newfoundland and I'm very grateful that I'll be staying with our dear friends Bishop Don and Trudy Harvey. Uh, of course, Bishop Don is our founding uh, Dawson Bishop and moderator and he and his wife will be hosting me. And I'm going to be involved in three ordinations in Newfoundland, and I'd really appreciate your prayer. Uh, on uh, Friday evening, <clears throat> Bruce Noseworthy is to be ordained to the diaconate, uh, and he's connected to St. Stephen the Martyr in St. John's, Newfoundland. And then on Sunday afternoon, uh, I uh, hope to, I'm looking forward to ordaining Ida Reed to the diaconate at St. Matthew's Gander. We're actually going to be meeting in the Salvation Army Citadel for this special service on Sunday afternoon, October 17th. And then Monday evening, Monday being St. Luke's Day, uh, Deacon Colton Carrick is to be ordained to the priesthood or the presbyterate at Good Samaritan in St. John's, Newfoundland. So please pray for those people, for Bruce Noseworthy to diaconate, Ida Reed to the diaconate, and uh, Deacon Colton Carrick to the priesthood, uh, and that would be wonderful. Well, let me tell you why I'm in the car. You might actually hear the engine running, uh, and the reason is because uh, last night, my wife and I flew in from Vancouver. It was very late. It was after, well after midnight, and we were so grateful our luggage came through quickly, uh, and we knew where the car was, and it was accessible, and we got there, and sure enough, there it was, but when I went to push the button to unlock it it didn't do anything at all and but anyway I used the key and opened it and but there was absolutely nothing the whole, the every the battery was so dead that nothing no no glimmer even uh, of anything so we were discouraged and as it happened um, we um, uh, we had texted as we often do family saying we'd landed hoping that they didn't notice until they got up in the morning but of course I have two sisters who are great prayers uh, and they did notice uh, and they texted and said well done are you home yet and and Judy said actually no our car battery is dead and we're gonna have to call uh, CAA <clears throat> well while I was just there trying to find the number and I finally did find it and I was dialing it the very next car out popped a man and he was already phoning and he beckoned to me not to call anymore and he got off the line and said there's a, there's a truck coming and he's going to boost your car in just a minute when he comes I'll move my car so he can get at you. This was just incredible. So we're standing around and we're thinking thank you Lord who is this guy and uh, what what is this truck uh, and uh, <clears throat> And then, you know, after a few minutes, uh, I sort of sidled over to the car and said to the, you know, uh, who, and he said, there's the truck. And sure enough, there was the truck. And a guy with fairly strong accent said, uh, uh, good evening, sir. And, and then he uh, took over, he got the hood up, uh, and uh, he uh, connected to the battery and said, give it a go. And I did, and of course, after a few hesitations, it up it fired, 
he unhooked it. He said, you're good to go. And I said, well, well how, you know, and he wouldn't take any money and the guy beside. So that in fact, um, Judy, when she texted, the one was 106 in the morning and we were on the road, having out of the parking lot, having paid, etc., at 118. Incredible. Uh, we just felt like the Lord sent this special gift of this very kind man and this very kind uh, uh, fellow who came and did the boosting. Uh, and uh, so here I am making sure that our battery is still working and it is. The car started this morning, so praise the Lord. Well, the promise <clears throat> that I want us to think about is from Joshua. Of course, Joshua 1 begins with God reminding uh, him that in fact Moses had just died and now is the time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan from the east to the west to Israel to the promised land. And uh, repeatedly reminded him that he was to be courageous and bold. Next week we're going to look at Joshua 1.8's promise which is really amazing but this one has to do with the presence of God and I guess that's what I'm thinking about today as I think about the Lord intervening and answering prayer almost before anybody prayed it sending this guy what was he doing in his car uh, and wh how did he know what we needed and all of those things the promise is Joshua 1 9 God says have I not commanded you be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. So guys like me and, guys, and people like you need to be courageous and bold and walk with God knowing that he's already there and he goes with us wherever we are. Let me end with a, a prayer. <clears throat> Uh, for, uh, the collect, O oh God, our refuge and strength, true source of all godliness, graciously hear the devout prayers of your church, and grant that these things which we ask faithfully, we may obtain effectually through, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Dear friends, we serve a wonderful risen Savior. And he's with us always. So we need everybody to come to know him. So please search the scriptures daily. And every opportunity you have, open your mouth and speak about this wonderful Lord Jesus. God bless you today.